Alright guys, this video is show you how to um, to grill fish on the scale on the skin without having to actually scale a fish and, and flay it off the skin. So we're going to use that skin and that scale as a protective barrier to cook our fish and once we can separate the meat from the skin, it is done. I don't care what fish you cook. We've done all kind of snapper, we've done uh, striper, we've done drum. We've done bass, we've done sea bass. I mean, we've done it all. Any big size fish with a scale and a skin on it, you can do this too. So if y'all would just check it out and, and watch. I mean, it's kind of jumbled around a little bit, but we've been swimming all day and dude, I'm tired. So check it out. All right guys, we're gonna start out with the uh, Brussels sprouts. We put them on skewers and we put a uh, big salt, big pepper. And spray butter on them and we usually start them first on the grill and that way they can start pre-cooking um, you see today we have a nice big old red snapper he's fresh as they can be fresh he was still swimming not too long ago but um we're gonna get him filleted and uh we get him seasoned up we'll get him on the grill we already got brussels sprouts on the skewers so Here's how we do it. And we're gonna flay this joker, and uh, I got my bubble blade here. So we're gonna cut behind the thing. Wow. Somebody needs to sharpen a knife, don't they? All right, so what we do is just go down the backbone. There you go, a nice big filet. And what we do is, we'll give the balance of this fish to our chickens. They love fish as much as we do. All right guys, after we got the snapper filet, we're gonna come back in here with some uh, spray butter. We usually use melted butter. But uh, we've been swimming all day and we kinda am in a hurry, we're hungry. Give it a good proportion of uh, butter. And then we're gonna come back in here with this uh, gourmet Cajun seasoning made here in North Carolina. It's really good. We're gonna sprinkle it with good dusting. And this right here is fresh seasoning, guys. So you don't need a whole lot. You can see I've lightly dusted it. And then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna sprinkle with just a little bit of Old Bay, just to give it that Old Bay seasoning. And look, we're just gonna bump it. And then we're gonna come back with some big pepper, fresh ground pepper. Man, this smells awesome. And then we'll come back with some salt. All right, that's what it looks like, guys. Let's get it over on the grill. All right, here we go. We got red snapper. We got a seasoning with all our seasonings on it. Spray butter. And we're gonna put it on the grill with the uh, Skewered up the Brussels sprouts, fresh Brussels sprouts. Yeah, yeah. So, what we're gonna do is, guys, I got the skin on and the scales on, and I will show you how to cook this without having to take that off. It's a protective barrier. We're gonna lay it right on top of the coals, and we'll give that about 15 20 minutes on a good medium heat where you can hold your hand over it. Like that right there without snatching your hands off. And uh, we'll come back and check it out in about 15, 20 minutes. If you burn the uh, Brussels sprouts on the outside, that's just outer leaves. You can peel them leaves off and then 
It's so scrumptious underneath. It's, it's really good. Anybody likes cabbage will love Brussels sprouts with fish and rice. All right, guys, y'all can see we're cooking on the charcoal side of the uh, char griller 50 50 grill. Um, I've had this grill for a while and we've used it gas and charcoal and smoker box on the other side, but um, right now we're using charcoal and, and cooking fish on charcoal is a lot better than the gas. Gas don't add no flavor, charcoal does. And what we're looking for is the, uh, the fish to actually start bubbling on top a little bit. Um, you see the Brussels sprouts are cooking real good. They're getting really good and dark. Um, they're drawing up. That would make them soft. But if you can look at that fish, I don't see the uh, the juices come out top yet. So we'll give her about 10 more minutes. We'll come back to you. All right, people. We're close to uh, 500 subscribers. We got about 100, 100 and some to go. I got some really good giveaway gifts to give away. So if y'all would, please share, um, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's get that count up. 500, we'll do a live drawing. Like I said, I'm learning all this, but I got some great gifts, and I think y'all would enjoy. Oh yeah, she's cooking good, guys. You can see how thick the fish is starting to rise up. And fish has got to rise before she can cook throughout. Well, that looks awesome. I can't wait. I cannot wait. We're in the kitchen and uh, Lisa's cooking the yellow rice, which goes really good with uh, any kind of grilled fish. One of my favorites. And you can see we got the yellow rice Manhattan or whatever. Any kind of yellow rice will work. But let's see what she looks like. So she's boiling. Oh yes, I can smell it. Mm. All right, we'll give her about 10 more minutes. Fish is ready, bus sprouts ready, rice should be ready. We'll get back with you. All right guys, we're ready to check the fish. And uh, you see we got a bed of rice with the bus sprouts grilled out around it. So let's see what we got. Oh man, that looks so good, don't it? Like I said, anytime we can go between the meat, and you can see it separating from the skin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna hit thirds. That's three of us eating night. Wow. One. That looks so good, don't it, baby? It looks awesome. Look at that. Mm. Uh oh. I need another hand, don't I? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh uh. Uh huh. Look how he's got that balanced. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, well, look, hold on. And you gonna get wow. mad if it falls. It's tall, man. It ain't pretty, guys, but, uh, wow. Mm. You can see how flaky that is? That looks so good. And I think this right here is going to be our finished product because I'm hungry. And there it is. I know it don't look great, but it's so good. So, I hope y'all try it. Give me a thumbs up. and uh, Like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So, let's go in the house and eat, baby. All right, love.